Good morning, good morning. Let's try the tongue twister. She sells seashells by the seashore. The shells she sells are surely seashells. So if she sells shells on the seashore, I'm sure she sells seashore shells. Hey, that one was good, right? I'll try to read it twice. She sells seashells by the seashore. The shells she... She sells seashells by the seashore. The shells she sells are surely seashells. So if she sells shells on the seashore, I'm sure she sells seashore shells. She sells seashells by the seashore. The shells she sells are surely seashells. So if she sells shells on the seashore, I'm sure she sells seashore shells. Okay, I'm getting better at it, right? I woke up naturally at 5 a.m. Apparently, I got almost seven hours of sleep. I was watching a little bit of the episode from Modern Wisdom with Chris Williamson. It was with Noah Kagan. Today is Sunday, so my gym only opens at nine. So let's just read 10 pages now. By the way, if you have another tongue twister you want me to try, just let me know in the comments down below and I'll try it. It's not enough to only learn about philosophy, right? You have to apply it in real life, in your life as well. That's when you truly understand the philosophy. So if you're learning about a philosophy, try to apply it in day-to-day -day life. Like for example, I told you about like changing your perspective. I gave you an example yesterday about, you know, running in the rain and the wind and how I changed my perspective. So some things like that, like things like you cannot control the outside events when something happens to you, something negative or something bad happens to you. If you can change your perspective, you can see the good things in that situation, like your interpretation and your perspective, things like that. So, yeah, it's not enough to only learn about philosophy. You also have to apply it in your real life. That's when you truly understand the words. I mean, it's the same with reading books, right? Knowledge is power only when you use it, when you take the action. It's not enough to just read self-help books and not use it, or productivity books, but not use it. You gotta use it and take action and that way knowledge can be like power. Got nine more pages to read. All right, so I just finished reading nine pages of The Feel Good Productivity by Ali Abdal. You know, I used to hate reading books in school. You probably know this. Like in school, you get reading assignments, right? I was totally not interested in the topics of the book. So I would just, you know, look up the book summary online, copy, paste, <laughs> and do the assignment like that. But now I just love reading books because I'm following my genuine curiosity. Ali Abdal also talks about it in his book. Like when you are genuinely curious about something, nobody has to force you to do it. You will do it by yourself, right? So I think it's a good message to follow your genuine curiosity. Not what's cool and trending, but what you are truly interested in. What is your genuine curiosity? Ask it yourself. Think about what makes you so excited or like truly passionate about a topic. When, when talking about that topic to someone, what lights you up, you know, what gets you so excited? To talk about like for me for example it was self-improvement like personal development mindset human behavior psychology philosophy those things i was genuinely curious about learning about those topics once i started reading books about those topics nobody had to force me to read and that's how i built up my habit of reading so I think if you want to build the habit of reading books, I would start with books that you're truly interested in, that you're genuinely curious about, that you truly want to learn. 
and you can even start with like manga like story like fiction books and then slowly you can also try to read more non-fiction books because I've learned a lot from these books I've gotten a lot of life lessons new ideas that truly changed my life I think it's very important to follow your genuine curiosity whatever topic you are interested in just go for it even if it's not cool or, or trending just do it don't worry about what other people might think just follow your genuine curiosity I talk about being authentic and I think it's truly important very important to be as authentic as possible and yeah be genuine follow your genuine curiosity and uh, if you can do that if you have enough courage to like be your true self be your authentic self and do something that you are genuinely interested in or and genuinely curious about and then i think you are living a great life To be honest, I haven't trained my abs for a while now. And if you have watched my Project 50 challenge, I did this exercise twice a week. So yeah, can't skip abs, right? After this, I need to do plank. Today I'm going to do one minute plank. By the way, this is my second set. All right. Going to do two more of these. All right, fourth set. Then I'm done. Right, one minute plank. 30 more seconds to go, 15 more, 3, 2, 1, 0, yep, alright, I'm done for today. Alright, so... I just finished editing day seven and eight and it's currently uploading. While it's uploading, I'm going to meditate for five minutes. So it's almost 9 p.m. My video just finished uploading. I'm going to go to bed. Hopefully I can get a good night's sleep. I'm hoping for at least seven hours of sleep. I hope you enjoyed the vlog. If you liked it, please give it a thumbs up. It truly helps. Subscribe if you haven't yet. All right, that's it. Have an awesome day and I'll see you tomorrow for day 13 of the 75 heart challenge. Peace